minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise uh, to offer an amendment to H.R. 2217. And as a former law enforcement officer, I, I know very well the needs of first responders. Uh, that's why I am proposing that we increase funding for the United States Fire Administration by $1.8 million. This would restore total funding for the administration to the fiscal year 2013 level of $44 million. My amendment is offset by cutting $2.8 million from the Secretary of Homeland Security's Departmental Operation and Administrative Account. According to the CBO, the amendment would reduce net budget authority by $1 million and will have no impact on fiscal year 2014, uh, as far as the outlays go. Uh, continued funding for the brave men and women who protect American citizens by fighting fires is extremely critical, as we all know. The fire death rate in the United States is one of the highest in the industrialized world. We can prevent deaths by ensuring that the USFA has better resources. Data collection, public education, research and training are always USFA's work to re uh, as they work to reduce the nation's fire death rate. Last year, my district experienced a record devastation from forest fires, fires that quickly burned out of control and threatened both homes and entire communities. Tens of thousands of acres were destroyed, and it took over 1,000 firefighters and volunteers to get them under control. Hundreds of families lost their homes, and it was only due to the valiant efforts of our fire personnel that more were not lost. One of the key roles of the USFA is to work to prepare and prevent those types of fires from happening. They do this by working directly with the local communities and stakeholders. They work to promote the adoption of local codes, protection plans, preventative measures, and much more. They are also a key component of the National Wild Land Coordinating Group, which coordinated wildland fire prevention, preparedness, mitigation, and response programs of various federal agencies. They do all of this not just to fight a common natural uh, menace, but to protect lives. I urge my colleagues to support this important amendment endorsed by the International Association of Firefighters, International Association of Fire Chiefs, and the Congressional Fire Services Institute. Together, we can ensure the safety of our first responders and the American people they serve. And I thank uh, the chairman uh, and. Uh